When it comes to major international tournaments, all eyes tend to be on the insane clutch plays that solidify a player's reputation as a legend. Such plays require insane amount of game knowledge, information processing, and creativity. And honestly, there is nothing more impressive than watching ex Peke barely escape a dire teamfight, then curiously hide in the jungle while the enemy team pushes towards his nexus, only to enter their base on his own and pull off the most insane base race of all time. Or similarly, watching players like CBLB reversing a 6v4 through strategic targeting, starting by flanking the support, taking out the isolated tank, and getting rid of D.Va, and then leaving the main fight to take out Boston's utility before coming back to finish off Boston and claim the victory. And while most players chalk this up to some elusive instinct or genius, these terms don't really tell us much about the underlying mechanism behind these plays. And so, in this video, we'll dive into the mind of an esports legend to identify the true nature behind their 200 IQ decisions. And we'll uncover the truth of how players like yourself are able to develop the genius and instinct of a pro player. To understand the genius behind top esports pros, we need to start by understanding how exactly the human brain works when it comes to our gaming decisions. Now our brains are essentially bundles of billions and billions of wires called neurons, which are each connected by synapses. And even the simplest action, like attacking an exposed enemy, involves a circuit made up of hundreds of thousands of fibers and synapses. And fundamentally, every one of these circuits works through an input-output mechanism. The input portion is all the stuff that happens before we perform an action, such as seeing a vulnerable enemy, feeling our fingers touching the buttons, and then making the decision to attack. And the output is the performance itself, the signals that move the muscles with the right timing and force to press the right combination of buttons, allowing your character to move towards the enemy and then efficiently attack. But this is just a small and simple example of our mental processing that's involved in esports. In an actual game, you are constantly in dynamically changing situations, which involve constant task switching and information processing. And when we look at high-level players, they're constantly analyzing and processing tons of information, such as their current position, the movement of their teammates, the various items or weapons that the enemy has, their own character's ability, and how this all matches up against an immediate enemy. And in a game like Overwatch or League of Legends, you can get an idea of how much information exists by considering the possible combinations of character abilities and map areas where an engagement can happen. And when you begin factoring in all these sorts of small elements, the amount of permutations and combinations in games like this can reach the millions. And in any given situation, pro players must calculate all the various elements, permutations, and possible outcomes in order to make a complex decision. And more impressive, they often make these mental calculations in mere seconds. But this really begs the question, how is this possible? How do they make so many calculations so fast? Well, like I mentioned before, the human brain is made up of mental circuits and tons of wiring, and essentially these mental circuits allow us to execute our skills and store game knowledge. And the more we develop a specific circuit, the less we're aware that we're using it. In other words, once we develop a strong enough understanding of a certain piece of knowledge or a certain skill, we store that in our subconscious, making that skill or knowledge automatic. And this creates the elusive feeling that a skill once gained feels completely natural, as if it's something that we've always possessed. And when we use phrases like muscle memory, instinct, or natural skill, we're actually referring to our mental circuits that have been optimized and are able to fire without us thinking. And so when a pro player is in a unique situation, analyzing all the elements of the game and calculating their next moves, most of this is happening without them even realizing. 
And if you were to ask them why they made a certain play in a game, they'll often say that they made that play out of instinct or gut reaction. So then, this all leaves us with a new question. How exactly do these players develop their abilities and knowledge to a point where it becomes subconscious? Well, the hard truth to this is that pro players are able to make these connections and pull off such great plays because they've invested thousands of hours into the game, and their mental circuits have developed from tons and tons of past experience. But the silver lining to this is that we can kind of shortcut this process. Because most of us learn through simply playing the game over and over, and this definitely does help you to build a slow progression of experience and knowledge, but through the process of playing the same game in the exact same way and executing the same set of game knowledge and skills over and over again will cause us to fail to expand our mental circuits. In other words, without actively expanding your skill set and knowledge, you're essentially improving at a slower rate. Now, skills themselves consist of identifying important elements, then grouping those elements into meaningful frameworks. And the name psychologists use for this sort of organization is called chunking. So in order to develop your game knowledge to a genius level, you must actively break down the game into its many elements and individually study and practice each chunk. Now notice how I mentioned before that developing skill consists of grouping elements into meaningful frameworks. So the key here is to focus on the most meaningful and immediately important elements. As an example, a major element in the game League of Legends is the many items that you can build to help make you more powerful throughout the game. And a huge amount of the game's strategy is based on these items. But if you were to attempt to memorize a list of every single in-game item, you likely wouldn't remember very many of them at all. But if you were to analyze common builds and look at your enemy's items while in actual games, you'll quickly develop a much more practical base of knowledge, and you'll start to see much more meaningful patterns. Similarly, if you want to break down and chunk your skill execution in, say, a game like Counter-Strike, this might mean focusing on something very specific, say, developing your gun accuracy during the pistol round. And then this might turn into you setting up bot matches, where you are only using the pistol, or you may use much more creative practice methods, such as custom maps in the workshop, or maybe some sort of external aim training game. And for whatever game it is that you play, attempt to chunk it down into various game knowledge or skill executions, and then practice and learn specific chunks until they feel much more natural. But of course, this is a very simplified overview, and developing your skills in game knowledge efficiently is perhaps the most complex but important part of becoming a better esports player. And so I plan to go much more in-depth on this topic in a later video. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss that video. But for now, take away the method of focusing on smaller chunks of the game and developing those chunks until they become much more automatic and natural. And don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. The only way to expand your mental circuits is to develop new knowledge. If you were to approach a pro-level player and ask them what exactly was going through their mind when they pulled off a specific, impressive play, they will often say that they were simply reacting off of instinct or muscle memory. And as a player who has yet to achieve that same level of game knowledge or skill execution, we might mistake this for some sort of natural level of genius. But, as you now know, the secret mechanism behind such great plays is the brain's ability to absorb and automate complex information. And this shows us that when a pro player is making some crazy 200 IQ play, it's not a result of them being able to make tons of conscious calculations or slow down time. It's essentially their unconscious brain doing all the calculations for them. And this mechanism in which their brains learn information and store it in their subconscious is the exact same mechanism that your brain uses to do the exact same thing. 
In other words, the elusive genius of 200 IQ pro players is something that is attainable. And with enough focused effort and practice, it's even something that you can achieve. Hey guys, I hope you loved this video and I hope you got a ton of value from it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, you can now support the channel by getting yourself some eAthlete merch. It's been a long time coming, but we finally have the entire merch store set up, and honestly, everything looks amazing. So grab yourself a new esports jersey, mouse pad, or even a hoodie, and start repping eAthletes. And the link for this shop, as well as a discount code, will be in the description down below. And of course, this video is also brought to you by our very own esports supplements, eAdvantage. Now, the inspiration behind the Advantage is to help competitive gamers like yourself to get a focus and energy boost beyond any sort of energy drink and to do so in a much healthier way. So essentially what we did is we took the beneficial ingredients that you might find in an energy drink, then added even better ingredients and packed it all into a small capsule. And as a result, you get a huge focus boost and even a memory boost in a much healthier and cheaper way. So to try out eAdvantage for yourself, you can use the code eAthlete1 to save 6.5% off your entire order. And the link for eAdvantage, as well as this discount code, will be in the description down below. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you get so much value from this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.